Good afternoon, everyone. It's Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons back with another video. It's Tuesday afternoon. Yay! Got through Tuesday. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I'll show you my sweatshirt I wore today to substitute in. It says Merry Christmas. I love Christmas sweatshirts and just being festive and, you know, most of the schools are, um, some of the schools I've been in, they've been decorated for the holidays. So that just kinda, you know, puts you in the holiday spirit a little bit. The school I subbed at yesterday, I was in second grade and um, they were all excited because they were having their Christmas program last night. So that was kind of neat. There was a student that was dressed as um, an elf and it was just so cute. And I'm glad that the kids get into that and, you know, if they choose, you know. So it was just so cute. Well, anyways, I've been wanting to do a video on what I got my kids for Christmas. So this video is gonna be what I got Tyler for Christmas. Tyler is my oldest son. He's 20 years old and um, happy to say he still lives at home. He, um, he works hard, he saves us money and you know, I'm like, good job buddy, good job. So, and he bought a new truck this year, new to him. Um, so I said, do that while you're still at home and can, I got like a little piece of hair sticking up here. I'm surprised it's not sticking up everywhere after the day. It's been beautiful here in Northern Indiana. Um, we're supposed to be in the forties, I think till who knows when we're not going to have snow or anything for Christmas. I always like snow on Christmas. It just, I don't know, makes it all pretty. Adam, he wishes it would be 70 degrees and sunny. <laughs> so, we're the exact opposite, but oh well. I suppose all the snow will maybe come in January or February. Let's hope it doesn't come um, in the spring. So, <laughs> but anyways... I do have a few things for Tyler that I thought I'd share with you. Now remember, he's 20 years old. I don't know what to buy him. So I tell him, I told him this year, tell me what you want and I will get it for you. Because last year I gave him money and I loved giving him money so he could buy what he wants. But I said, I'd love to buy you and wrap it. <laughs> and give it to you. So, yeah. So I just, I thought I'd share with you um, what he wanted for Christmas and I got for him. So like I said, he's got, he bought a new truck to him and he's been slowly buying things to, um, you know, put on it that he likes on it and things like that. And these are, I don't know what they are. They're like, they go on the um, tire. The, is it the valve stem? I don't know, it's the thing that holds the air. And I should have turned the light on. But he wanted these for his truck. They go on the tire and it's an American flag. Tyler is very, very into anything Americana, um, American. He loves America. He loves the country he's in. He loves, he just loves it. Anything with the flag, um, he absolutely loves. So he wanted these, so I purchased these. These were off of Amazon. He actually put them in the cart and told me, you know, get me those. But he loves his country. He supports his country. Um, 
next year um will be a he will be able to vote in his first presidential election he's watching everything very closely and um he will make a wise decision when he goes and votes um because he's very frustrated as an american right now how the country is being run and i can't say i blame him if you go to the grocery store um whoo i don't know how people do it i really don't but i got him those he wanted those for his truck so i got him those and then this is another thing he put in the amazon cart this is like a truck organizer it will open up it'll expand and it'll go under his back seat in his truck so you can put um whatever you need to organ whatever he'll need to organize inside his truck um i don't know what he'll keep in there but it just slides under the uh back seat and he can Put what he wants in there to organize, what have you. Tyler is a very, um, he keeps his vehicles top notch. Top notch. They are spick and span, cleaned, um, if not weekly, at least bi-weekly. He's out there cleaning. There's never any trash in his truck. Um, it's always clean, well maintained. You know, he can, he changes everybody's oil in the family and on and on and on. And he's, he'll do Adam's vehicle, my vehicle. Um, he, um, before he bought his new to him truck this year, he was driving the vehicle that he was given to at the age of 16, which was his grandma's old minivan. He took great care of that. He fixed multiple things on that. And he is going to pass that down to Trenton. And um, he will even drive the truck so many days during the week. And then he'll drive the minivan going just so it's not setting. Because we still haven't got Trenton's um, driving permit yet. His schedule... It's just been really hectic, but I'm hoping with winter break coming up, we're going to get in and get his um, driving permit. And then in six months, he can get his license and he will take over everything on the minivan, the insurance. Um, that's all he'll have to keep up on it is the insurance and then the gas to get him to point A to point B. So, but Tyler is a very, very neat, neat person. His room is always neat so tyler was wanting a new phone an iphone he's got iphone i don't know what because it was paid off blah 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 his phone even with having a case on it the camera got cracked so he was like i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy me a new phone mom i'm old enough i'll go on my own plan blah 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 and i said no and we even the people where we have our phone service said, no, it's cheaper to be on your mom's plan um, than, you know, you can pay your mom. But I said, Tyler, if you need a new phone, I will gladly get you a new phone and take care of it for you. You know, pay the bill for you. I don't mind doing that at all. You know, you live at home. I don't mind doing that. So Tyler wanted the new iPhone this year. So, I don't remember which one I got him. Um, I don't have my glasses. Let me reach for them. I came home and I just put my glasses off, you know. It's like, I'm going to take my glasses off. Okay, it's the uh, iPhone 15 Pro. So, this is the one he wanted. So, I got him this one for Christmas. So, yeah. I won't show any of that information, but that's the back. It has not been opened. He um, will get this on Christmas Day. Then we can get it all set up. So then I said, okay, what else? And so this is the, oh, this is the charger because now you don't get chargers with the iPhones. 
I think you get the cord, but you don't get the, I don't know. But he picked this out on Amazon. So we, I ordered that for him on Amazon, the cord to go along with it. Um, and then he wanted um, a case. I don't know if I can open this or not. I haven't had it out. Oh, yeah, I can open it and put it back. So this is the case he ordered. Um, very, It looks very, very durable. And it's got a nice, he'll be able to pop that out and it'll be a nice stand. So he needed a durable case because he does work um, on the grounds crew at the local college university we have um, about 10 minutes away. So I said, get a good case. And if need be, we'll go in and get a, um, but that is that one. We order, I ordered that off of Amazon. So I got him that one. But I was happy to get him what he wanted. This was the main thing he wanted. So he's, you know, the iPhone. And he had the truck storage thing in there. And I'm like, Tyler, let me get you that. And he's like, no, Mom, you got me too much already. You got me the new iPhone. He goes, I don't need anything else. And I'm like, Tyler, if you want that, I will gladly purchase that for you. I said, you always change your oil. You wash my car. You wash, you know, Adam's car, blah, blah, blah. Let me do something for you. So I got him that. So... Yeah, so he's getting the new iPhone, the case, the charger, um, the American flag. Um, the thing that goes on the tire to hold the air. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. And then the uh, truck organizer. I'd open this, but I don't know if I'd get it back in the package. So all I need to do now is wrap these, get these wrapped and ready for Christmas. And Trenton's last package is coming, I think either Wednesday or Thursday this week. And he, everything I got him, I ordered off of Amazon because he would just put it in the cart and say, mom, this is what I want. And I'd say, perfect, because I'd much rather get them what they want because it's so hard with boys, you know? Because it is, it's just hard. But that's what I got Tyler for Christmas. Um, Adam and I, on Saturday, we finished the grandkids' um, birthday, birthday, <sighs> Christmas presents. So I will have to share those with you. We got all the grandkids finished up because I came home the other night from work and I pulled everything out from underneath the bed and I said, okay, Adam, we need to see what we have for each grandchild. So I did that and it just came down to, you know, needing to get a couple gifts. So we went to Walmart Saturday afternoon cause we had to pick Trenton up. So we thought we're just go in and get what, um, look to see if we can find anything. And we found the gifts we needed and got them and picked Trenton up. So now we're done. But as soon as Trenton's comes in, I will do a video on Trenton's, what I got Trenton for Christmas. And also I'll do what we got the grandkids for Christmas. And yeah, I'm ready. I can start wrapping Tyler's gifts. I got a little red truck box. I'm going to put those in um, to wrap up. And I want to go to Dollar Tree sometime. Probably not this week because I'm working every day this week. Um, I'll probably have to go sometime in the evening or right after school and go to the Dollar Tree. Because I want to get a few. Um, I always give. I haven't in the last couple of years. But I always made my kids um, stockings out of the gift bags. So I kind of think I'm going to do that again this year. I think. I don't know. But just pick up some like snacks they like and candy and put it in there and be done. So thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great week. It's only Tuesday, but I can say 
I feel so much better being out of my previous um, job and that toxic environment. I can just feel my energy back, my happiness back. So thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. And I'll see you soon in my next video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and then tap the bell so you get notifications when I post a video. So thank you all. Have a great Tuesday evening and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.